I'm officially out of weed. Please send help. All right, let's see how we can. Last time the sound was a little hot. See if we can improve on that this week. Last week, the sound was a little hot. Little hot, little hot. Shout out to Scotty Mac. Shout out, I brought him back. Shout out, I do it the most. I do it twice, do it three times. Both times. The reason my dick ain't in live. You know it's odd. Let me turn up the mic a little bit. Let me turn up the mic a little bit. Yo. Let me turn up the mic a little bit. Last week was a little hot. Last week was a little hot. Last week was a little hot. It was looking so pretty outside. And it's looking so pretty outside. And I do it all. Yeah, I do it all. Was a little hot. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little beat I made the other day. It's called Tangerine Quarantine Dream. Hope you like that. How's everybody doing? Oh, stuck inside? Me too. But we persevere. We persevere every day. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Um, I'm going to play some music for you. Uh, I got some questions that I took on IG, but I never answered them. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get to those. And then I got another little thing for y'all. Um, got this delicious double IPA going from Original Pattern Brewery, which is in Oakland, California. Offering curbside service. Uh, I went and got some growlers like a couple weeks ago. It was really tasty. And their growlers are dope. Their branding is dope. All their like aesthetic is hella sick. Let's taste it. Mm. That's very, very, very good. Coming in at about 8.2 percent alcohol very tasty very tasty indeed um let's um play a song for you this is a new player coach song which is uh, myself and stretch my best bud one of my best buds and my personal confidant uh we have very long phone conversations uh he's my therapist great guy great rapper great writer um we were working on this player coach album this will be our third project and uh this time we flipped it he used to do all the beats and then for this project i'm gonna do all the beats so this is uh my first gazelles named after the very famous west german um glasses company sunglasses company very popular i'm sure you've seen them here we go. Check the sound. Yeah, yeah. Got my first gazelles all on a bitch. Cop the scholarship, hip walking ever since. Slip talk is a cinch, enhance the dominance. Hot as out green beneath the pot of grits. But the politics, I don't need to vote. Baby gave me gills, I don't need a throw But I need a reason not to punch a nigga in his whole shit Burn nigga so slow, want some Mesco shit No homophobia, trip Patagonia Micro puff bubble, bubble? Looking like somebody's wired uncle On my way to Whole Foods to cop a whole Will it bring cheese nigga? Young Gaunt, Young Salah Lil' mama, I just came up from the gallows Pass on the mallows Hit me with the grams though Two dollar hams though I let my hands go I do a two step I swear my shoulders I thought I told ya Mucka mucka wild boys We tryna mold ya We swingin' doughies The food is moldy Going off the coldies God finna fold me God finna fold me 
to vote me. Boom, bam, bam, boom, bam, bam. Ooh la la. It's a quick one. Just a verse and a verse. I love it though. Um, next up, I'm going to play a song off my new album. It's called Crisis Actor. It'll hopefully be out this Friday on Bandcamp and streaming services maybe like two weeks later. So um, if you fuck with my shit and you want to support, hit it up on Bandcamp and get it two weeks early. Um, other than that, you can wait two weeks and stream it, which is just as dope. But the Bandcamp money goes straight to me, um, which is exceptional. There's also still some merch up there if you want to grab some. Uh, this song is called Electric Lemonade, uh, produced by Logan, and um, it's pretty dope. Gazing at the waves, I fill up my days. I fill up my days with electric lemonade. Gazing at the waves, I fill up my days. I fill up my days with electric lemonade. Electric lemonade. I fill up my days. Gazing at the waves, I fill up my days with electric lemonade. Rinse it out and fill it up again. Rinse it out and fill it up again. Rinse it out and fill it up again. Ginger heat, lime and lemon juice. Talk is cheap and it don't compute. Keep it tight, always reduce. Tell the tailor the suit to lose. Ginger heat, lime and lemon juice. Talk is cheap and it don't compute. Keep it tight and always reduce. Tell the tailor the suit to lose. Slow, 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 slow. Tell the tailor the suit to lose. Keep it tight and always reduce. Tell the tailor the suit to lose. I love my days. I love my days and not the ways. I fill up my days. I fill up my days with the electric lemonade. Gazing at the ways. I fill up my days. I fill up my days with the electric lemonade. Electric lemonade. Electric, electric, electric. I fill up my days. Days with an electric lemonade. Days wait. Days in at the way. I fill up my days. I fill up my days with electric lemonade. Days in at the way. I fill up my days. I fill up my days with electric lemonade. Electric lemonade. Days in at the day. All right, that was Electric Lemonade. Um, that one's been in the can for a while now, but I'm happy to put it out. It's basically about a uh, ginger, lime, and lemon little tonic I was making at the time. Uh, very good for you. Very good for you. Um, let's see here. Let's get into some some questions that people sent me on Instagram a little while ago and you can if you just want to comment on like this pod and just send in your questions I'll fucking answer them unless I don't want to answer them in which case I won't answer them but I probably will so whatever you got whatever you got um this is not the card for that here we are um did you quit drinking well The answer is no. But I did because I had some health issues. So for the past year, I haven't really been drinking at all. Been heavy juicing and whatnot. Um, More on the health tip, researching uh, naturopathic 
ways of living and ways to heal yourself. Uh, I had a bit of a health crisis. I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I figured it out and now I'm doing a lot better. I feel really good. Uh, my weight's back up. Um, I did quit drinking because that was the cause of it. Basically, I was drinking so much beer and eating so shittily that I destroyed or rather damaged my internal organs. So my liver and my gallbladder got so inflamed that it basically went into my pancreas and your pancreas helps you digest your food. So it got so inflamed that I damaged a part of my pancreas and I was no longer able to digest fat of any kind. So I lost a ton of weight. I got down to like 160, which is ridiculous for a man that's six foot two. Very scary. Uh, my mom saw me and was like crying. It was all bad. But I was able to figure it out uh, without the help of any doctors because I saw two doctors through my insurance and they had zero clue what the fuck was going on. And it felt to me after a while that they were deliberately not trying. So I got really frustrated and I just went full on like health crusade, like figure it out myself. And I did, which is dope. So that's why I'm heavy on the juice now. Uh, I basically live like a fruitarian, fruit based lifestyle. Um, I eat, you know, some solid food, but for the most part, I'm a raw vegan. And every once in a while, I have a cooked meal, but I, I do live basically like a raw, on a raw diet. And it's dope because I'm full of energy and I feel really good and I'm nice and svelte now. Um, back up to 182, which I weighed myself yesterday, which is awesome, but that, that's going well, but quitting drinking for a while did help me. I don't drink as much anymore. Um, this quarantine has not helped that at all, (laughs) but I'm definitely, um, more in tune with maintaining a balance and that's all that matters. Um, Let's see here. What is your morning routine? My morning routine is I wake up around 7, 7.30, uh, right into the bathroom and have a nice smooth poo. And then I go into the kitchen and I prep my juice. Uh, I like to either have grape and lemon juice, which is really good for you. Highly astringent. Uh, it'll clean out your insides for sure. Or cantaloupe juice. Cantaloupe juice is my shit right now because cantaloupes are so cheap. Um, But that's my morning routine. I make a juice and then I usually try to go for a nice hike. I live at the bottom of a pretty big hill in Oakland. And so I walk all the way up to Skyline, which is like, if if you know, it's way up there. And um, so I do a nice hike. That's about um, two miles up. And yesterday I clocked myself at 30 minutes. My time is getting pretty quick. It's, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and then it's obviously two miles back down. So it's like a four mile hike. And um, I try to get all that done before noon. And then at noon, these days, I pretty much just let myself go wild and I do whatever the fuck. Um, trying to be productive. Trying to make beats. Trying to make music. Um, trying to write a lot. Um Obviously, this podcast has given me a pretty sweet outlet. Uh, The first one I was hella nervous to do, but now I'm excited. And everyone's response to the first one has been really good. And I really appreciate that. Um, So comment, like, whatever the fuck. Just let me know that you're watching. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, Favorite things to juice. Um, Anything that's like high water content is a great fruit to juice. So like melons. Um, citrus fruit, um, grapes, obviously I love the grapes. Uh, If you can find seeded grapes, they're fucking amazing. Um, and they're really good for you. I like to juice that. Um, I put a habanero in my shit just to spice it up. Very high in antioxidants. Um, but yeah, if you have like 300 bucks to throw around or like 400 bucks which a lot of us don't um i would definitely invest in a juicer and at least put that into your morning routine it's an amazing breakfast um 
you want to eat fruit for breakfast, it's super helpful to your body and it helps get rid of all that waste from the previous day. Um, the last thing you want to eat for breakfast is something like cooked and like super bulky because it just clogs up your GI tract and your body's like, what the fuck? Even though we've been conditioned to eat like, you know, eggs and bacon for breakfast, it really is the worst thing you can eat in the morning because your body's not ready for all that. Um, it just wants help to clean out. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Just have a big ass glass of water or some juice or some fruit and then you're good. You'll be fine. Trust me. Um, yeah. So my favorite things to juice right now, I would say is cantaloupe because it's hella cheap and it's very high water content, meaning that the fiber separates from the melon very easily and very quickly. And the juice is just fucking delicious. Um, as a matter of fact, let's try something really quick. This beat is called What Extinction Feels Like, which is such bullshit, because I don't know. Maybe the dinosaurs? All I do is juice. All I do is juice. All I eat is fruit. All I eat is fruit. All I do is juice. All I eat is fruit. All I do is juice. All I eat is fruit. All I eat is fruit. All I do is juice. Keep me loose, keep me loose. Keep them poops coming smooth. Keep them coming with them poops. All I do is juice, all I eat is fruit. All I do is juice. All I do is juice, all I eat is fruit. And you should too. And you should too. All I eat is fruit. All I eat is poop. All I eat is poop. Got the dance room. Now I'm doing it and shit. Now I'm rubbing on the dick. It's been like four fucking days since I had a fucking nut. I don't know fucking why. I'm too busy to reply. I'm too busy to jerk off. All I do is juice. All I eat is poop. <laughs> Alright. That was that was good, I guess. Thanks for uh, indulging my ridiculous freestyles, by the way. I uh, I usually, when I'm writing, I try to run the beat. I put it on loop for a little while and then freestyle. And then I record it uh, on my voice memos, either on my phone or my iPad. But it's a good exercise if you're trying to be creative and trying to write. Because a lot of melodies come when you're not trying, I find. Um... This question says, have you ever been in love? And the answer is yes. Uh, I just broke up with my very, very long time girlfriend of six years and uh, still in love. But unfortunately, I'm not like at my core. I'm a very avoidant and a very distant uh, romantic. So I'm not um, suited for relationships really even though I did, I was in one and I enjoyed the fuck out of it for a long time, but I, d I avoid like the difficult conversations and, um, the conversations that need to be had, I, I avoid and I tend to brush off and that had its effect, you know, and she wasn't really willing to participate in that. You know, she, she decided it was better that if we both focus on ourselves, which is pretty smart and I think it's working. Uh, because we're still very, very close friends. And I don't necessarily think the relationship is over forever. But I do think the um, the toxic aspect of it has been um, cut, which is great. So hopefully we can build on that. Um, let's see. New favorite stuff. Got some new favorite stuff for y'all. Um, there's a show on Netflix. It's called Man Like Mobeen. And it's about this Pakistani dude who's like raising his sister and she's a teen and he's like going through it and figuring it out. But um, 
amazing amazing british comedy um and there's a lot of really good comic relief i would highly recommend it once again it's called man like mo bean m o b double e n um also there's a so musically um i'm sure a lot of you know him but his name is his rapper named smino and he has this new song called reverend and it's fucking incredible and to me this dude is probably the most versatile um melodically creative rapper there is right now his name is smino s-m-i-n-o fucking incredible love that shit um the last movie that i watched that i really enjoyed uh is called big time adolescence and it has pete davidson as a star and it's really good it's on hulu but i illegally downloaded it and uh pete davidson plays this guy who breaks up with his girlfriend after high school but then maintains a friendship with her little brother and so they're they're tight and then the movie kind of goes from there you know teenage parties and whatnot and then it it gets really good so you should check it out uh i also just watched the netflix movie la originals which is super dope and amazing amazing it's about mr cartoon who's a incredibly famous now tattoo artist but just an artist in general and esteban uh oriol oriol and they're two homeboys they're like best friends and it goes through their kind of like trajectory of artistry and their business empire and it's super sick i'm sure you've already seen it it's like trending on netflix um i tried to watch this show called bruise brothers and it's about this like brewery company it's called bruise brothers and i just couldn't get through it it was super like cheesy and bogus and frankly it sucked maybe i should give it another shot but yeah no um and then lastly um with all of this corona shit and all this fear mongering going on in the media um there's a man named dr shiva ayadurai and he is the inventor of email He's a genius. He went to MIT. He's very, very, very smart, sharp guy. And basically, he's a doctor. And he is kind of like blowing the whistle on all this falsehood going on in the media and how they're approaching this virus. And I highly suggest you check out his Twitter and Instagram. He's running for Senate right now in New Jersey. Once again, his name is Dr. Shiva Ayadurai. He's like my fucking main source of like hope right now. Um, I highly recommend you check him out and follow him. He's a fucking genius. Um, that's all for new favorite stuff. That was a lot of stuff. Um, now I wanted to do something cool. I thought it could be fun if I went through an old song of mine and kind of broke it down. So I'm going to do that. This is an old uh, classic doing? joint. I'm okay. How about yourself? Not too shabby. Cigarette? Oh, no, thanks. Do you do this often? Well, I'm a single guy. No use in saving me. So that clip is from a movie called The Lonely Guy, um, starring Steve Martin. And that particular scene, uh, he's giving blood at this clinic, and he's laying in a bed next to this very attractive woman. And he's trying to make small talk. And I, I went through a period where I was downloading like all of the Steve Martin movies and then like, kind of taking sound bites and that was the one that stuck out and when me and logan were making this song logan had the beat i loved it we were kids i was like 18 i think he was 16 or 17 and uh that might be wrong but i don't even know but when he made the beat that intro was like perfectly lined up with that shit uh so it worked out well 
Catch me bumping, but we blowing blueberry bud Belgian beers, mushrooms and licorice Only got time for the girls who talk to me nerdy With titties that's ticklish Berkeley bound on the Fremont train Flipping pages of the fables, putting data in my brain when So Berkeley bound on the Fremont train is obviously a reference to the BART system uh, the public transit system in the Bay. I remember when I was writing the rhyme, I had to like fact check um, if you could be Berkeley bound on the Fremont train. And you can, in fact, because if you're coming from the other side uh, and you get on the Fremont train, actually, uh, I don't know. But I remember I fact checked it and it was true. And then um, Flipping Pages of the Fables refers to a graphic novel series called Fables in which they take all these old um, stories and they put them all in one big expanded universe in which all the characters know each other. So there's like Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, like um, all these other characters and they all know each other and they all interact in the same community. It's a super dope comic. It's called Fables. Uh, Check it out for sure. The door slid open in downtown Oakland. Purple pro heads on the dandy dame. Curly hair, vintage dress, second hand frames. She sat at Jason. I asked for her name. She said Kimberly, Vietnamese and Mexicana. Okay, so uh, when I went to college at San Jose State, uh, my first day there, we were doing like a tour, and I met this girl, and we ended up hanging out for a few months, and then. Uh, she basically like ghosted me before ghosting was a thing and I remained very interested and she was super cool but her parents were like mad religious and they invited me over for bible study and I was just like nah dog and and like ever even after that like we hung out but I could tell that day she was just like "Mm, he's not gonna work like the parents the parents don't approve and she was hella cool but um shit in hindsight i probably shouldn't have used her name for this song but it just hella fit and she was half vietnamese half mexican she was like super into incubus she loved brandon Boyd, the lead singer and i ended up using that in the lyric like way 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 later but it was like i think she only likes me because i look like brandon Boyd, (laughs) and that was like absurd because he's like ten thousand times more handsome than me Anyway. Gingerly, please sick on me the mañana. You speak Spanish, más o menos. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini, probably yag different every time. She said, fine. I just hope you're not a Facebook faker. Nah, I'm from the era of the Purple Undertaker. All you gotta do is put your number on the paper. Do you have any weed? Who's your favorite filmmaker? Fuck tomorrow, let's hit a matinee. She said, let's get a bottle and we'll put it in my purse. So catch me bumping, but we blowing blueberry bud. Belgian beers, mushrooms and licorice Only got time for the girls who talk to me nerdy With titties that's tickling Like bitches on a bless on a beautiful binge Caught up in a booby trap, here yeah, take a sip of this Only got time for the girls who talk to me nerdy With titties that's ticklish So that's Logan on the back end of the hook um, And we wrote that like second part together And I think we just thought it was a good idea to have a break from my voice and have someone come in almost like a hype man and do the second part of the hook and ended up super dope. I, I, I I listened to this song before I did this so I could kind of remember shit, but I totally forgot that he was on it. Uh, And it was just so funny. We recorded this song in his mom's basement and um, we were like, like basically working in secret for a long time and then we ended up becoming like really really good friends and still to this day so shout out logan once again um for coming in on the second part of that hook first date west anderson double feature for zadas on the wall surrounded by ill creatures blood breaks she's the ideal okay so west anderson movies obviously everyone loves them i love them uh the new movie is called that he just put out a trailer for it's called the french dispatch and you should all watch it it looks hella sick it's coming out soon hopefully um and then the frazetta's on the wall there's an artist named frank frazetta if you don't know um he's an amazing artist uh from 70s 80s 
and uh i don't know when i was writing this i was just like what's like the coolest like nerdiest shit you know i could put in i remember like distinct distinctly like writing things down like okay i'm gonna fucking like inject this into the song because it was called talk nerdy to me you know Lady Geek burns Herbie's books and plays a petty thief. She's a comic head, once dipped in oil and key. A hottie, but unapproachable to say the least. I visit her at work, Action Figure Freddy's. She said, Okay, Action Figure Freddy's was a store in SF, and it was right by the Metreon. And one time, um, me and my homie Ricky were walking around sf and we went in there and i met this girl she worked at the register and she was the coolest coolest girl absolutely beautiful total nerd geek whatever and she was give like giving me like holler at me vibes and i was i've always been kind of ignorant of that just in general interactions with women and i'll never forget like she she was like yeah yeah come and she let me like peep over the register and she showed me pictures of her like dressing up for like comic-con and like i remember she dressed up like that uh kind of like mermaid witch from um pirates of the caribbean the caribbean lady she dressed up like her and was like she looks super hot and i was like oh my god this girl is amazing and i bought uh like a dr doom uh funko pop thing one of those figurines i still have it it's right on next to my keyboard in my studio and i'll never forget like uh, and she was like oh yeah i also work at this comic book store and i was like oh nice you told me the name of the comic book store and then for some idiotic reason i didn't ask for her number or anything um she invited me to the next comp to the next comic con to come with her and i was like yeah for sure somehow we didn't exchange information and then like the next two days were just so fucking painful because i was just like oh my god i'm in love with this girl and i can't contact her so i ended up calling the comic book shop that she worked at and um i asked for i forgot what her name was but she was hella cool and they were like um what's your name and i was like oh (laughs) i'm ivan and they were like yeah, we don't, who the fuck are you? And I was just like, I don't know, just give her the message, said, tell her I said hi. And they were like, whatever. And then, fuck, man, I was so pissed off. And then like two weeks later, I went back to SF to the action figure Freddy's. And it was fucking close. It was like condemned. They had boards up and shit. And it was almost like, it was almost like a mirage, like it never happened. And it was just like, fuck. But I was able to put it in a song. And I'll call you when I'm ready Your t-shirt is faded Must be a true fan Couple men of style Hey, I really like your shoes, man Kicking it, discussing movies over a blues jam Marvel's on the coffee table Kicking over booze cans Party hard Once the gin and tonic's gone We're getting stoned And we're going to Comic-Con Her records move me like a pawn We drink our inhibitions Until another world's gone Catch me bumping while we blowing blueberry Damn. That was hard. It came hard on that one. Only got time for the girls to talk to me nerdy. With titties that's tickling. Like bitches on the best on a beautiful binge. Caught up in a booby trap. Here, take a sip of this. Only got time for the girls to talk to me nerdy. With titties that's ticklish. Alright. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a mumbles classic for sure um people love that song i love that song and uh it definitely anchored uh that lost weekend project and i think a lot of people reson it resonated with a lot of people and i used to when i first started performing live um that was one of the songs that people were always like dude i fucking love that shit and i don't know it was just it worked so much love to everybody that loves that song. Uh, it's very important to me. Um, so I thought I'd break it down. If you want if you want me to break down any other songs, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do that. Um, some of them have stories behind them, and then some of them are just, you know, just drunken musings that came together. So 
I don't want to let you down, but let me know if there's any songs you want to hear me break down, and I'm I'm happy to do that. This is my emergency beer, in case I drank the other one, um, and I did. So, shout out Original Pattern Brewing. This is a uh, Ballast Point Lager, which I found very interesting, because uh, Ballast Point, you know, they're like super, like, IPA specialists. Um, they have a tasting room in San Diego in, the like, the Little Italy district. And I used to go there every time I would come back home from Tijuana. Uh, I would always go to the Ballast Point tasting room and like you can get like tastings or like little like half pours and they're super cheap and they got fire ass beer. Um, so they'll always have a place in my heart. But this lager just came out and um, it's very low. It's like 4% alcohol. It's basically like a that got there or like whatever the fuck, but it's tasty. I'm going to play one more song for you. Um, And I found this the other day. I thought it was super interesting. I made this like a year ago. It was like right when I fucked up my, you know, pancreas and stomach and gut or whatever. So I made this song. It's called Gastrointestinal Mystery. (laughs) And uh, I think it holds up. Let me know. I went to school and learned a trick or three Lessons in fractional history I tried to drink up all my misery Gastrointestinal mystery Damn. All right. Well, 40 minutes seems like a nice number. This went by really quickly. Um, Thanks for checking everything out. Thanks for um, commenting, liking, whatever the fuck. Um, Please share. And I'm going to have a great day. And so are you. Peace.